This is my travel tripod. It's actually from Really Right Stuff. The reason why it is called a travel tripod is because it is light and it is compact. Hey, this is Scott Wankiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the Peak Design tripod. Hard case. Soft case. So the soft case uh, has a handle, has some loops, so you can attach their strap to it. It's a nice, it's a nice case for a tripod. I never put a tripod in a case, so I think it's kind of pointless, but you know, it's pretty. But you're paying more for it. All right, so here's the tripod. Now this is fully compact. You can see it still has the like instruction manual on it, so it's definitely more compact, uh, at least as far as length goes. Width-wise, you know, diameter-wise, it's really not that much smaller diameter-wise. I mean, sure, when you have legs that are not circular, yeah, it can get more compact. Yeah, when your ball head goes into the tripod, it can get more compact. So this has four legs, this has five legs. And you know this because there are three locks, and this one has four locks. So... Um, that already means that the bottom legs are going to be pretty thin. Let's see how thin those are. So again, they're not circular, but look how thin that is versus how thin that is. So long exposure wise, already you can see these are pretty thin. It's carbon fiber. The one they sent me is carbon fiber. It does come in two options. This one is carbon fiber. The other one they sell is aluminum. And the, uh, the locks are plastic. Yes, you can also unlock each leg and extend pretty far. It's quite smooth, and you can lock them all at once. They claim that it's fastest to do. Uh, I can unlock and expand and contract my tripod pretty darn fast. First things first, we have to undo that and get this out. This tripod cannot be used while this is in place. You have to use this screw, pull it out, it's got like a little magnetic lock. You have to pull the screw, unlock it, twist by twist, expand it, and then put it back in and lock. I just want to point out something I noticed right away. First thing I noticed when I expanded the legs, watch what happens if I put a little bit of weight on this. Look at this. So this has a bunch of give to it, right? I can tap this and it, it's moving on me. It's literally moving on the floor. Um, <laughs> the legs actually collapsed a little bit when I did that. The legs are collapsing. So I'm going to put a camera on it and see what happens. Uh, now, other thing I noticed is this is as tall as it gets. This is uh, basically the same, tall as it gets, I'm sorry, without the center calm. This is basically the same height as my really right stuff tripod. It's a little bit shorter because it's a little bit shorter, compact. Um, now I could expand this, of course, and go higher. But again, now I have to worry about the center column, which is going to shake. It's not as stable. The center column on, on my travel tripod is a thick piece of metal. It's not going anywhere. Um, this is a little flimsy. I can like tap this and see the, the bubble level shaking on top. So um, yeah, that's... So I just spent a week with the Peak Design tripod. Uh, I actually, the timing was good because when I received it from Peak Design to review, I was actually going on a vacation with my family 
and I knew I was going to need a tripod for family photos. You know, I set up to do our, basically our, our big annual family photo. And so I brought the tripod. Instead of my own tripod, I brought the Peak Design tripod. And I wanted to really put it to good use, and I did. The only part of it I did not use was the iPhone mount because I just didn't need it. I had my camera. But I wanted to just quickly share my thoughts on this overall. First of all, I will say that typically when I use a tripod, I am doing either headshots or I'm doing something like landscape photography. I rarely use a tripod for anything else. With that said, my views on this are um, twofold. One is going to be for the average photographer and one is going to be for the landscape photographer who needs a sturdy tripod. First and foremost, the bag is useless. No one is going to use the bag. Uh, if you're going to, the bag is beautiful. Bag is beautiful. It fits the tripod perfectly. Uh, I don't have it in all the way. Don't worry about that. Has some handles. You can clip on, um, you know, Peak Design camera strap if you have one of those. There's a little slit in here, a little pocket that's actually for the Allen key, uh, but the Allen key actually fell out. <laughs> so I don't know where it went. Um, but it fell out, so it obviously doesn't hold so well because it fell out, and I I never took it out. It just, it, I know it was in there at one point, so I could feel it in there, but um, the Allen key is actually used, the hex key, whatever you want to call it, is used to tighten the various things on the tripod. Um, now, so that said, no one's going to use the bag, most likely, because if you're bringing a tripod, typically you have a backpack or a sling bag or something that has a tripod strap that you're going to just attach the tripod to, like a little pocket or something. Or your bag's gonna have a water bottle pocket, and being that this is the size of a water bottle, it's not really, it's bigger than a water bottle. Um, that it, it could actually fit in a water bottle pocket, depending on your camera bag. Okay, now, uh, here's what I wanna start with. First, I'm gonna start with the bottom. Now, I took some photos on the beach in sand, and uh, with that, uh, I did have the rubber feet in the sand. Typically, you would go with something like spikes or something that's supposed to go into dirt. They did not send me the spikes that they offer, but there are spikes available. You do need to use that little hex key in order to take off the foot and then put on the spikes. It looks like their spikes are maybe about yay big, and uh, I, they are metal. The spikes are metal, so that is good. Uh, I did, again, I don't have those, so I can't say much more about that, but you would need to put on spikes. They're apparently also making some other foot, feet type things for the tripod as well. Next, uh, these, which a lot of people are either for the twist knobs or for the locks. I don't like these. I like twist knobs. But uh, I know somebody who has a shaky hand and cannot actually grip the knobs and twist them anymore. So he actually uses locks like this. And uh, while these are good, these are, like I said earlier in the video, these are prone to breaking. You also need to retighten them every so often. You can see there's little screws right here. You need to tighten those every so often. This feels like it's gonna break. Uh, in fact, these loosen and have loosened while I was using it. All I did was extend all the legs it, like extend all the legs, tightened them all, and I would push down the tripod and the legs would start going like this. You're gonna have to tighten these quite often is my guess if you're going to be using this tripod because it's gonna give. Speaking of the legs, the other thing I found was, now this is going to be for the landscape photographer, namely a, a landscape photographer who does long exposures. These legs, are not circular. That is how they got the, the, this, this really nice design to make it so compact. What happens is when these legs are extended, they're so thin and flimsy that they have, look how much, look how much bend they have. Look at this, watch this. So when a heavy camera or a little bit of weight is on it, even if you hang a heavy bag from the hook, which by the way, the hook is plastic. Even if you hang a, he a heavy bag from the hook, the legs start to bend inward, and now you've got this vibration, you've got this wobble, instability. So while the tripod is a nice design to make it compact, it's not stable for long exposures. Do not rely on this for long exposures. With that said, it's more than stable enough for the average photographer 
not doing landscape long exposure type things. The photographer is doing headshots. The photographer is doing family portraits. The photographer is doing product photography when you're using strobes, right? If you don't have to rely on longer shutter speeds, then you're fine. But if you're relying on longer shutter speeds, I do not, I do not recommend this. Moving right up the tripod is the hook. I mentioned before, this is a plastic hook. I would not recommend having hanging a very heavy bag from it. Uh, but what is cool, something that really right stuff does, which is the tribal tripod and the full size tripod. I'm actually using the full size right now for my video setup, but is they hide something or offer you the ability to hide something inside the center column. Now with the really right stuff is there's actually a multi-tool. Instead of having a hex key like in a bag, uh, you, you can actually hide your, your hex keys and all the other tools you would need for your tripod and your camera inside the center column. What Peak Design did was, is they put in this little iPhone thing, which by the way is plastic, that fits in their mount up top. To me it's kind of gimmicky. Uh, if you are a photographer who only does iPhone photography, then sure, that's extremely handy because now you don't need to carry a mount or, or leave it on top or put it in your bag. It just goes right into the tripod that you're gonna use anyway. Sure, perfect. Uh, but for the average photographer, it's just a gimmick. Sorry, it's a gimmick. It, it, it's not needed. If Peak Design figured out how to make a tool to fit in there, and offered the ability to hide also the iPhone mount or, and by the way, they could because they're just using little magnets to make it all stick. Um, there's a magnet here and then there's a magnet, you know, the metal on this, you know, on, on the tip of the plastic iPhone mount to uh, make it stick. They could do it with a tool and uh, figure out some other things. But we get to the top and this is where it gets much better. This is strong. It got nice clips to keep the legs in place where you want them. Uh, you can actually take the center column out. You can even, not only can you take it out, but you can reverse it. You can actually put it so that your head is on the bottom of the tripod, so you can photograph down very low. They also are selling a, a kit to remove the center column so that the tripod itself can go basically way down. And basically it's a shorter center column where, uh, you still have to lift up this ball head that, that's here, which I'll talk about in a second, but you don't have to lift it up as much as you would right here. Then there is an, also an adapter. If you don't want to use their head, an adapter to use any ball head you want. Now, I will say that it's kind of funny that they're offering this because Peak Design is claiming this is a compact, the most compact tripod and whatnot, and it is compact. But once you add another ball head, if you add another ball head to this on top of this, uh, it's going to be even bigger than my Really Right Stuff travel tripod. I mentioned earlier, my Really Right Stuff tripod is only two inches taller than this and only one inch thicker in diameter. It's not much bigger and it has a very, very stable uh, ball head and it's very, very stable legs. So if you add another head on top of this, your tripod is now bigger than another tripod. So to use this again, you have to pull out this knob, turn it to loosen it, and you can raise and lower it. Uh, the ball head is really nice. I will say it is a very nice ball head. I like the minimalistic uh, design of this. You just twist and then you can, you know, move the ball head around. You can hear the little rubber um, sounds rubbing on the metal ball. Um, not the most attractive sound, but it's there. And then what I really like about this, what I really, really like is the simplicity of the, of the mount. Now, it comes with the Peak Design mount. You can take off the little pins here and use an Arca Swiss, uh, which is really cool. But what I love is you just put it in and it's sort of locked in place, but if you want to secure that lock, you just twist. And now you can't push this pin down right here to take the camera out. This, ca this tripod is not any faster than any other travel tripod. I can open the legs on my travel tripod equally as fast, if not faster, than I can with these because all I'm doing is twist, pull, lock. Is it cool? Yes. Is it light? Yes, it's very light. Is it compact? Yes. 
Is it more compact than any other tripod, any other travel tripod? Well, maybe some of them, but not my travel tripod. Um, my final thoughts. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I look at this from two different perspectives, the average photographer and the photographer who needs longer shutter speeds. I do recommend this for the average photographer. It's a nice tripod. Is it worth the price? The carbon fiber I think is like $500 or so, US dollars. Uh, is it worth that price for a travel tripod like this? My really right stuff tri travel tripod is even more expensive than this. But, but it's a heck of a lot sturdier so I could use it for average photography or I can use it for longer exposures, longer shutter speeds. For the average photographer, I don't know for certain if this is worth the price versus something like a Mi Photo or uh, the Manfrotto's little travel tripods. I don't know if it's worth the price difference. I really don't for the average photographer. For the long exposure photographer, the landscape photographer, I do not recommend this tripod. Um, if you are a landscape photographer, a long exposure photographer, I recommend getting something far more stable. And try not to get something with such thin, le thin legs if you need stability. The average photographer is, is kind of nice. I just don't know if it's worth the price. That is a decision you will have to make. Now I do want to say thank you to Peak Design for sending this to me. I am determined to do, when I do product reviews, to always be brutally, brutally honest. Uh, I, I want to share the good, the bad, my thoughts on it. Uh, of course, that's not the final word. You know, everybody has their own opinion. You might want to get your your hands on this tripod and try it out for yourself. Go to a store that sells Peak Design products and try it out for yourself. Put your camera on it. Put your camera on it. If you already have a Peak Design, you know, one of their straps with the, you know, with the plate already, you can just unhook it from your from your shoulder and. Put it right on here and give it a try. If you have an Arca Swiss style mount on your camera, all you gotta do is take off the little screws that are on the plate and you can just slap your camera right on there. Easy. Give it a try. Thank you Peak Design for sending this to me. Thank you Mac Worldwide Warranty for partnering with me on these videos. Click that subscribe button below now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday. You don't wanna miss it.